Hey gang, what's going on? Juan here. Now, even though we primarily provide discussion videos here on the channel, we like to provide other forms of wrestling content, uh, like unboxings. Personally, I like getting a lot of different wrestling memorabilia. That's why I provide the WrestleCrate unboxing videos. Now, WWE announced a Loot Crate partnership for a bi-monthly crate. Now, we don't have too much information about that, but... You know, you're no damn sure I am interested in covering that or uh, Ryan or anybody else on the channel because WWE is finally getting in that. But what if you were able to go inside a department store and get a piece of WWE memorabilia that is 15 years old? So that is actually what happened. On my way to work, I stopped by a Kmart and I see a clearance section and all of a sudden I see these bad boys. I mean, the, the, technically a diva or a female superstar with Lita, but... This is WWF. This came out in 2001. This is 15 years old. You can see, look at the plastic. This thing is old. It has a lot of experience, and I'm going to open it. Now, I know what you may be asking yourself. Juan, that may be worth something. You know, I looked up, and they're worth about $20 to $30. I got these for $10 a piece, which is not bad. And honestly, I don't pretend to become a millionaire by buying a variety of different wrestling items. I want to open this hoping they don't break because I would like to put these somewhere. I've never personally owned the bobblehead. So let's actually kick it off with Lita. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the box, right? Let's, for, for context. So here it is. Collect them all. You can get Stone Cold, The Undertaker, The Rock, Kurt Angle, Triple H, Lita, Chris Jericho, Kane, Series 1. You get a picture of Lita delivering a suplex because that is awesome. Check out the front. The Extreme Beauty, Lita. She kind of looks like Laura Croft there a little bit or something. I don't know. I've always thought she had like a similar appeal to uh, Laura Croft like in the games. But let's open this up. Please don't break. Please don't break. Okay, there's some dust in here. Okay, this almost fell. This almost fell. Oh, man, I'm scared. What? That's it. That's... Okay, that is lame. Uh, but let's try this out. So please don't break. This thing is heavy. It is heavy. So check this out. This is the Lita Rumble Head. Ain't that right, Lita? See, she's agreeing with me. So you see the front. It's got a Lita a logo. This is a sticker. This is not painted on. Now, on the back, you see another sticker that says Rumble Heads. Now, you heard me complain a little bit earlier. And if you look at her sticker, it, her tattoo, this is actually a sticker. It is completely removable. You can sort of see it there. It's not that Lita's bleeding, although she does have her trademark thong there. But this is really high quality. This is ceramic, so this is not plastic. Really sturdy and really bobbly. Check this out. Let's open up Kurt Angle, or as Ryan would say, Kurt Ass. Now, this one I'm worried about because for whatever reason, this one looks a lot more beaten up or something. I know that it's got a slight imperfection, but once again, the, the simple fact, like even if this broke, I was able to go to a Kmart in 2016 and get something that came out in 2001. That is in no way a bad thing. So there he is out for context. The box, same thing in the back. It just has a brief description of Kurt Angle, his logo, and then a picture of him in the very old SmackDown Arena, the first ever SmackDown Arena. Keep in mind, this is Kurt Angle with hair. So this one I'm really concerned about. I mean, look at how yellow this plastic is, right? So I'm thinking he was maybe exposed to some sunlight for whatever reason. Maybe they had it like at a sale somewhere and it just didn't sail. No! Kurt Angle's broken. He's broken, Michael. Why? Okay, I can actually. We we can stick this though. We we can. I I can do something with this later. I have some super glue. But damn it, Kurt. We knew you were injury prone and you were beaten up, man. But not to this extent. Not in 2001. Okay, so. Um, this is the Kurt Angle thing in front. You can see that right there on the back. For whatever reason, this is not a sticker. So Lita was discriminated against. Hers was a sticker. This is actually painted on. And there is his right shoe. You can see that there. As you can see his ankle is a little bit beaten up, but he'll recover. We can fix this. We can, we can fix this. Let's take a look at Kurt Ass or Kurt Angle. Oh, no. I think he suffered a concussion. I think he suffered a concussion. Did you suffer a concussion, Kurt? 
I'm just worried his head is going to fall off at some point here. But clearly, he's been beaten up to hell. But it looks freaking awesome. This seems hand-painted. Like, there are a lot of imperfections. I, I like that, right? Like, I don't know if this sold a lot, but uh, I am a fan of these. Now, don't worry about the back of the head. I do have that piece, so hopefully I can piece that up together. I'll send out a picture on Twitter by that cast, letting you know if I was able to successfully perform some surgery. But hypothetically, if it all came in one piece, that is how it would look. Now, I'm going to try this. So just breathe deeply. That is not happening, so I need to hold them right now. But yeah, those are the rumble heads. Now, I got to ask you guys, anybody watching, did you even know these existed? I personally did not know. Uh, Kurt, I'm going to have to, like, drop you here. I can't talk while holding you, so hopefully you're... Can I... Can Lita and Kurt have, like, a thing? Okay. Thank you, Lita. That doesn't look right, but we're just going to go ahead and with that... And uh, yeah, that, that's been it for the Rumbleheads unboxing. No regrets. I'm going to uh, glue him up together so Kurt Ass is going to be fine. Uh, gang, let me know what you think about the Rumbleheads. And uh, if you have ever gotten these or if you're interested in getting these, you can get them for about 20 to 30 bucks. I would have loved to get the, either the Undertaker or Stone Cold one, but I got these bad boys right here. But any recommendation for future videos that you would like to see, definitely drop a comment with those. We provide these square roundtables. They are a one-topic specific video. We break it down. Every now and then, we bring community collaborators. So if you have any suggestions for that, definitely drop that in the comment section. We have the podcast available every single Tuesday night where we talk about WWE Raw, the pay-per-views. And if you want to support what we do, the best way to do so is by getting an exclusive buy that shirt you can get that in the description section that is available in purple and black so until next time thank you for watching and we will be back with tons more right here on bite that and if you do want more you can you can click those boxes in the left they take you to other stuff or hit the eye not the three eyes but just just the one eye in the upper right corner of the screen that'll take you somewhere i'm sorry kurt